Hello! I don't know why I'm using my British voice. Anyway, today, I hope all of you are excited. Today, I will be doing a how to build a TARDIS tutorial. A TARDIS in Minecraft. You know, the funny little flying time and space blue box. Blue box from Doctor Who. I thought we were on snapshots. Why can't I? That's weird. Anyway. Hunter, are we doing... I mean, relax. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Say bye, guys. Why else do you think I was talking? Are we doing magical No, we're not. Oh, let me do that with the skeletons, too. Oh, hey, you guys can sort of see my command. Okay, this is called the entity data command, and I can literally give entities no brain. I can I can make I them really really dumb. See, watch. All the skeletons within a 200 block radius now cannot do a thing. They're I'm just gonna go kill helpless. the one that shot my arm. Okay. Um. Let's see. I also did that to zombies too, so don't be worrying about the zombies. As for the creepers, um, they can still blow up stuff, but I can summon it. Anyway, uh, why did I pick up the egg? Let me get the blocks here. I'm just gonna build a new one for time's sake, but you can use blue wool for a, like, a ninth to tenth TARDIS, and then you can use light blue wool for the really old TARDIS. So, really depends on the person. Um, again, later in this video, when we actually create the inside of the TARDIS, I'm just gonna build the 11th second one, you know, the gray one with all the flashing lights and the turning pieces on the ceiling. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna do that, again, for time reasons, because I don't want to show you guys all of them, and I'm not supposed to be making these videos too long. Anyway, um, so you do a 3x3 three three array of the Yay. block you are using, except leave Stuff. these two spaces here empty. I hope you're Hunter, getting that. I wonder if I touch it, yep. if it still hurts me. No. Hunter, I'm inside it hurting. No, it's because it's supposed to be... <laughs> oh, you can't see the color. Okay, know that those weird goldish blocks are... No, no, know that those weird goldish blocks are actually lapis. Let me get like a book or something for you guys to see. Goldish. So yeah, they look goldish in the screen. Okay. We'll just say Let's that's a texture pack. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, sure, totally. And I can get pe texture packs now. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I uh, didn't mean to knock you over. Okay, let's hope that works. the texture for mine. Yeah, yeah, they did. Anyway. So, um, then you make this 3x3 three three array you've made. You guys keep distracting me, stop it. You take this 3x3 three three lapis array you've made, and you make it three blocks tall. Except, here, on the third layer, you do fill in the two spaces. And you will see why in a minute. So, then, go ahead and get rid of that lapis block, and come here to redstone. And you can get an oak door or an iron door. I frankly don't care. I prefer using dark oak doors because they look like the TARDIS door a bit. At least more realistic than most doors. Anyway, um, you can use any of those doors. Just if I were to least recommend one, I would least recommend the iron because it's just a pain to do. And it's amateurish if you, if you use the iron door and you place it there and then the pressure plate that teleports you is in front of it. That's just, like, amateurish. And I don't like it. So, I prefer... Oh, what the frick. I prefer using, um... I prefer using a dark oak door. Because then I can... Because then it actually looks like the TARDIS door. You know, no holes. And then... Alright, um... And then... Um, you're gonna need to destroy these two blocks there. Um, you know, command block on the first layer, and then block on the next layer, and then pressure plate on the third. Anyway, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll teach you in a minute. Um, let's see. You would also get here, once you've placed your door, 
you can either use an iron trap door or you can go in here and take this stone slab but you definitely need um, a block of redstone and a redstone lamp and then the middle part of the top array you just destroy that middle block put this redstone here and then you put the redstone lamp on top of it so it glows and then you would either ah, take the man, I just stone slab Or, um, hey guys, I it's really weird, house. but you can, you can do this for oh. a very, very slightly older, but not quite as old TARDIS, and then you can't put these on each other, so you would have to do this, Thank you, which is really, really weird, so... I'm actually going to, once I show you guys, I'm going to destroy these iron trap doors and put half slabs because it's really weird. Anyway, um, so you see that looks sort of TARDIS-y, right? But do you notice something missing? I mean, you must be thinking to yourself, something looks really missing, but... Looks really missing, great. Really movie. missing, yes. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize if some people cannot talk. Anyway, um, so you just put signs all over it, saying the classic police public I call box. I have lost myself in the forest. I have lost myself, too, in the jungle. How are you in a jungle? Do you want to come back here okay. and stop being lost? Can I, can no, I, can I get I this want tree pumpkins. first? Okay. Actually, I think I do know where I am. You're, you're just out there and to the right. Maybe I am. I don't know. See, watch. Go out here, walk around, look around. Let's see, there, there's your TARDIS. Ah, hello. Ah. Found you. Anyway, uh, so yeah, just police public call box. Well, Lining a tree with a chicken. Don't want to eat this chicken afterwards. Public call. But I must because I'm very hungry. Box. Anyway, you get the gist. Um, so, thing about this is, this is going to be sort of tricky. I'm just not finishing that for time reasons. Um, you're going to want to make your TARDIS inside. So, hello again, guys. So, I finally finished this TARDIS, at least the TARDIS interior. It's actually not up and working. I could add a few switches and buttons and stuff here to make you feel more comfortable, but it's not quite up and running. So, I'm sorry to say that it doesn't quite do anything yet. I could totally get it to do something, but... Oh, and don't be alarmed by the upways buttons. By the time you guys watch this, this will probably Im be implement implemented to normal Minecraft, but for now... It's only in snapshots, so... Anyway, um... So... TARDIS. Pretty cool, eh? Um... I sound Canadian. Um... I'm just gonna take the liberty here of going... Oh, what the... I'm gonna go back to my actual TARDIS. Like, the actual outside. And I am going to take the coordinates of here. And... Um, I'm going to make it so my TARDIS will teleport into here, so I can go back and forth. Um, um, let's see. So I'm going to have to mine this and this. This is the only time you can put the pressure plate in front of the door, because then it's, it's architectural reasons. Anyway, um, let me get rid of everything in my bin here. Uh, slash give... Give, um, Zulfor, uh, give Zulfor, command, block, okay, so, see, got a command block here, brilliant, um, on, let me get a pressure plate here, alright, um, I'm gonna go into spectator mode here. 
and I'm just gonna go all the way up here. As you can see, it's my doing. It's not very tar from tar. tar. Not very far from the outside of my TARDIS. Actually, I forgot to get the coordinates. So let me go back in here. Um, slash time space one. Back into game mode one. Okay. We. Um, F3. So, let me see. 156, 60. Well. Negative 157, 60, 363. Okay, let me just write that down. I have to tell you guys, I've got a horrible memory. Anyway, uh. Why ask you guys to remind me of stuff in the comments every single day? I almost forgot today. Brilliant. Anyway, um. Let me see. Negative one fifty seven sixty three ninety three. Okay, see there. I, I even forgot it there. Um and then I'll go get the coordinates for my TARDIS. What? Why why won't I drop? That's weird. Alright, oh wait, I forgot, that's why. Because I'm in spectator mode. Okay. Let me see here. Um. Why have cobblestone slabs changed? Well, what is this? I'm, I'm confused. Why? Why doesn't it look smooth? Because that's a cobblestone slab, not a stone slab. Oh, yeah. You need to use actual stone for stone slab. Eh, never mind. Five, four, twelve. Okay, so now I have the coordinates for my TARDIS, but while I'm here, might as well put the coordinates in this. TP at P stands for nearest player to negative 186, 65, 412. Okay, uh, let me get this grass block here. Okay, yay! So, now, we can take the quick and easy path, contradicting Yoda's beliefs. Ah! There's something red near us. Something it's a lava pit, probably. Oh. Why is she coming up to me? Anyway, um, Hi. so, take okay. the quick and easy way, Hi. into the TARDIS. What? Oh! I did the second coordinates. Silly me. Silly you. I heard that sarcasm. Oh, really? Oh, totally. I'm totally deaf. We're totally not overdoing sarcasm here. No, not. We're like totally cool. Nobody thinks we're weird. No. Okay. I know I'm not. All right. Here we go. Take two. Okay, it worked. <coughs> Whoa. This cough. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. It worked this time. That's brilliant. We actually came into the TARDIS. Um. So then, let me put the command block here. Why is this? Okay. TP at P stands for nearest player. Negative one eighty six. Sixty five. Four twelve. Okay, that makes so much more sense. There we go. So, now, uh, I can rewire this later so I can go to different locations. That's what all these levers and buttons would do. But, um, that's what all these levers and buttons would do. But I don't quite have it wired yet. I need, like, tons of pistons and stuff. I'm not even sure whether you guys are hearing me. Anyway, um, if you can, then leave a like and a comment for the perfect little TARDIS. See? Go out. And unlike those amateurs, it works. See? Amateurs. Yep. I like the way you describe that. Yep. Anyway, uh, 